Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna introduce and try to be very brief, um, hit the highlights of simple linear regression. Now simple linear regression is a very specific but very common um, type of regression. Regression itself is kind of this umbrella of, of methods that are used to predict different types of variables, oftentimes numeric variables but not necessarily. Uh, in the context of regression um, we have what are called dependent variables and independent variables and they go by many different names as well. Um, so our dependent variable will be usually um, symbolized with the letter Y and our independent variable will symbolize with the variable x. And if we have multiple independent variables, we'll have this kind of notation with a subscript. So here I have three independent variables. But I have one dependent. And this dependent variable is, for us, going to be numeric. And so that's when we're going to kind of know we should use regression and simple linear regression in this particular example. So this will be our target. So we have a numeric target which in the context of regression also goes by the name dependent variable. Okay, so don't be thrown by that. So um, if we have a case where there is um, one dependent variable, so one target that's numeric that we want to predict. So this is our dependent variable. It's our target. That's the one we want to predict, right? So let me put in parentheses. We want to predict this. It's numeric on top of that. So that's an important kind of distinction. And we only have one other feature or one other variable, we want to use this guy to predict this guy, or at least to better understand it, but for us it's going to be focused on prediction in this course. Um, then this can be done with simple linear regression. So this is the simplest case, but this serves as the foundation for more complex types of regression. So. Um, this is kind of just a very, very brief kind of in intro, okay? There's a lot um, that's in the course notes that I obviously could not cover here. I want to focus on the code that you're going to need to get up and start, okay? So first off, we're going to be dealing with a data set that uh, concerns uh, rental um, prices of apartments. So let's read the data in. I have my data set in the in my working directory so I just need to call it like this and let's take a quick look at its structure before we proceed we see that we have a thousand examples or observations three features or variables right it's a data frame uh, rent size I know what those are but X seems to just be a counter so um, not really interesting. So really we have two features here that we're interested in, i.e. rent and size. So the rent is clearly a numeric variable. In this case it's an integer because there's no decimal places. And this is the monthly rent. And size is square footage. So this is the square footage. So this particular apartment, if we look at the, the head of this data, for six observations, we get a little um, kind of snippet. You see uh, X is just a counter. Rent and size. So the first apartment that we have in this data set rents for $1,730, so $1,730, and it is 1,390 square feet large. And if you just take any row here, this represents one apartment. So that's, that, that's what each example here is. Each example here corresponds to an apartment. Okay, And our objective here is to see if we can um, better understand how much an apartment will rent for using 
how big it is. In other words, we're, we want to see if we could predict the rent of an apartment from its size. Okay, And if we can do that, then that will help us um, predict how much an apartment will, will rent for. And for various people, that might be valuable information. Okay. Now another thing, before we jump into the simple linear regression methods and, and functions, let's uh, take note of our data set. Uh, we have two features we talked about. Both of them are numeric, right? as we can see here, or we see integer here. Both of them are numbers. Uh, if we want to do a little exploratory analysis, we can quickly um, first make a scatter plot of these two to see what the relationship is between them. So let's do a plot. And since I want to predict rent, I'm going to put rent on my y-axis and size on my x. So de the dependent variable goes on the y-axis and the independent variable goes on the x-axis. That's kind of our convention. Data frame is rent. So I get a very crude scatter plot here, but already I see that there is this very clear pattern that as rent increases, so does size. Okay, of course, with a lot of variation along the way, which is always there, it's always inherent, but overall there's no doubt about it that there's this positive relationship. Okay, now another thing we can do, a numeric kind of summary that we can um, do in this exploratory phase is calculate the correlation coefficient, the Pearson's correlation coefficient. Okay, so if we do that using the core function. So rent, dollar sign rent, the data set is rent, the data frame is rent, the variable is rent, and size. Calculate the correlation coefficient of rent and size. And we see that it's quite high. It is 0.9. That's a very strong positive linear relationship. And going along with the scatter plot together, these things are say, are giving us a clear picture that this might be a, a very good case to use simple linear regression. Okay, because if you also if you look at this, it looks like this relationship is uh, can be summarized in a straight line. There's no kind of curvature here like this or curvature down like this, which you can oftentimes see or any kind of other curvature. It's a straight line, um, more or less. Okay, So we've done a very basic um, exploratory phase on this data. So let's jump in and do a, let's calculate the equation for this regression line. Okay, So watch part two. I'm going to continue with this uh, right where we we're going to leave off here. and. Calculate the simple linear regression equation.